Hey y'all. About as country as it gets, but hey y'all. I uh, am about to unload my kiln and I thought I would just video it and show you what I got. It's quite a few sunrise sunset cups, so this is probably going to be a shorter video in general, but I do have some bowls and such that I'm excited about too, so figured I'd show those. Alright, so from my last video, if you don't know what sunrise sunset cups are, this is those. That's great English. This is a sunset cup, which I normally have to fix the bottoms a little bit, but and this is a sunrise cup. They're colored on the outside, but they're plain on the inside with just clear glaze coating them. So this is what a majority of the kiln is gonna be full of. But I do have some new bowls of different color combos in it that I thought would be great to show you. I've learned the issue with recording my kiln unloadings is the fact of how small my kiln is. I don't really have much to show whenever whenever I do unload it so but still the little bit that I do have I do love to post it because maybe in the future I can get people's opinions critiques and stuff like that and that's the kind of stuff that I would love to see one day if I ever get more than four followers all right let's continue <laughs> another sunrise more sunset the same thing just a little bit different in sizes I got some taller ones and shorter ones but these are the prize jewels that I'm excited about so I don't remember if I posted it but on my Facebook slash Instagram this color combination It is snow with arctic blue over it. I did just the, I did the outside just plain white, but I did I put one of these in there, but the next there I did a set of 4, but I'm going to have to fire the other 3 in another firing. What I did do all four of and that's where the white went through, but what I did do all four of in this firing is Smoky Merlot over snow. And as I did with the last one, I just put it on the put it on the rim. So yeah. Alrighty, here's another Smoky Merlot over snow. This one turned out really good, didn't have any issues on the rim. So that's good. I feel like I should probably work on making this a little more uniform instead of having little extra drips and stuff but the inside drips are always done on purpose so otherwise though I do like that let's take this shelf out oh I shouldn't do that uh, we have more sunrise sunset cups but we also have my newest version of Sunrise Cups is these Cactus Cups. I based these after my friend Blair and I told her to go ahead, ooh, ooh, gonna have to shave that down. I told her that she could name them and so they are named Southwest Dreams. And then I'm currently working on a um, beach themed one. I think I'm gonna do like the shadows of um, palm trees and such. I thought that would be good and base that off of my other two friends who are obsessed with the beach and mermaids and such and that would be Devin and Hannah. But this is based off my friend Blair who's obsessed, obsessed with western stuff. So I'm obsessed with these as well. I can't wait to make more in the future and do a you know sunset version of this. I test her to see what cactus I would like best. In the end, I ended up not liking these little grass things. I really liked seeing the blank, <laughs> blank space around them. But um, I tried different types of cactuses. 
like a ball cactus and the ones that I did end up with. You know, these are popular around North Carolina. I see a lot of these, even though they're obviously not from North Carolina, but I ended up just going with those kinds of cactuses, but this was a good tester and I was like, well, it's still a cup and it's maybe somebody's obsessed with a lot of different types of cactuses. So I still went ahead and made, made this and fired it, so. The rest on this shelf is just sunrise and sunset cups. A lot of sunset cups. So. get for overfilling my hands and these should be the final four items it is ooh, oh I'm good at dropping stuff today it is the smoky merlot mix over snow and really it turns the smoky Mer Merlot into the more burgundy shades of it, and I think that's why I love it. Really loving um, experimenting with this snow color right now. I really, really am. Love it. What I am currently firing for is a spring fest that is local to the area I live around, and I'm going to be bringing out a lot more glaze firing, so maybe the next video I do that's unloading the kiln will be one or two glaze firings together in one video. So here is the final two items I'm taking out of this kiln. Albany brown slip bowls. A nice orangey brown color with a light tan mix. Always works well with these swirls, love it. But otherwise on the outside, it's just the dark orangish color. Oh, I forgot to mention, on the bottom of each bowl, I always carve something into them. Maybe I need to make a video of just all the different stuff I carve one day. I think that'd be really cool too. So. All right, so that's it. And I guess now we can move on to a previous firing. I'm not going to be unloading a kiln. I already unloaded it, but I figure I can still show you the pieces. So let's move on. Well, we will start off simple. Um, this is from the, uh, well, another recent firing. So I had three of the green bowls. I just had to fire this one extra one, but you've seen this color in the past, so. These four bowls is a set of ancient copper bowls. Here's the backs. I think I've already showed at least one of these, if I'm correct, but this is all of them as a set. Oops, I've got some dirt on the bottom. <laughs> but I just love these swirls. I mean, look at that. Ancient copper. I think I'm gonna try to pair ancient copper and um, ancient jasper together and see how that looks. I think that'd be wonderful. So you have seen this color combination before from this little guy, but put it on a bigger and just nicer cup in general. The top is not as crooked as this one. Look at the top of this. I didn't notice it until after looking at it that it came out crooked. So I think I might just keep this one to keep it even though I priced it and everything but I love how this combination looks I'm obsessed it's the snow and arctic blue coloration last but not least are these custom order mugs that a nice lady um, asked me to make for her mother and her grandmother and um, these are actually, they are, they're already sold. She already bought them, but I always make two of everything. That way, in case something goes wrong, and it looks like I was in the right to do that this time. 
So keep in mind, she's already bought the other two, but I wish I could have made this video before I sent them to her, but look at what the glaze did on this. That's bare clay right there. That's not, that's just see-through. And then there's bare clay inside of this too. I don't know what in the world caused this. I mean, down here would have been okay, but that just, it was just so horrible. I told her straight up, I was like, this is my favorite text that I did with the granny on it. But when it comes to water safety, I would just prefer her to take the other one. So she did and she seemed to really enjoy them. But um, this is Sue. I made this one and then I made a slightly taller one. And she chose the taller one. So I really like how this turned out too. I think I might do more of these in the future. 100% handmade, not stamped. Hence, you can see the little scrapes from where I scraped a lot of the black away from around them. But they are carved in there and then I filled it with black underglaze and I clear coated the stamped areas, which I see a lot of people just leaving them plain. But um, this is ancient copper and then this is snow and then the rim of it is the, it turned out really dark. The rim of it is Albany Brown Slip. So how she asked for these is she went on my Facebook and messaged me and told me she really liked the shape of my teal and cosmic tea dust colors, but she did want something different. She said she loved the way the white and speckled, like, well, you know, I use speckled brownstone to make the speckles come out, but speckles with the white, she said she loved how that looked, but she knows her granny has stuff with brown. I said, okay, perfect. So we'll put... Well, you know, it's more of like an orangish color usually, but it turned out dark like I had hoped. So nice darkish orangish brown. And then she said she just really loved this color in general and sent me a little cup that she liked and she told me which one she wanted colors and told me what she wanted to carve it. And I said, well, send me some text that you like and I carved the text in. So this is the insides of them. This one's more shiny. This one's a little matte, but it's still food safe, water safe, so. All right, thank you guys for watching. Please like this video and subscribe. Would love to have you as part of the Russ and Ross family, so. Bye!